everyone. Welcome to Rocky Mel Bus Channel. I'm so grateful to see you all here. As you all may already know that I have published a story on my Instagram to record a video about the reflection of the year, what I've learned so far, how I've grown and what has gotten me through this year. As we all know, this has been the toughest year for all of us and we all know how it feels to be lonely, how it feels to be disconnected from the world and not having the things that we take for granted, like going outside, reading a newspaper in a cafe, all of those things that we take for granted has been taken away from us because of COVID. I am going to share about some of the things I have used to get me through this year. Without any further ado, let's get into it. The books that I have read this year and that has touched me and uplifted me, I'm going to show you those right now. So one of them is My Daily Heart Blossoms by Sri Chin Moy. It has got so many beautiful quotes and small poetries that talks about life, that talks about spirituality, that has been extremely, extremely uplifting for me every time I read this book. The next is Sapiens. As we all know, Yuval Noah Harari, who has been one of the famous uh, writers for his series about human history. This has enlightened me about how we all came through this far and it talks about how human has lived throughout history, how money was invented, how all these banks, schools, laws, politics, how it all came. And this was extremely interesting. Next is Power of Now. So for many of you who might be interested in spirituality, this is probably the best book for you. Or even if you're not, if you're just struggling with daily life and just want to know how to get more into the moment, this is for you. This book might be a bit heavy for some people, but I just want to say read it without any judgment and I'm pretty sure this book will help you. It just teaches you how to be more present, how to be more accepting and live in the moment. The next is again a book by Sri Jin Moya. Well, he has been a spiritual um, teacher for almost 50 years, I think, and, but he passed away. His book talks about meditation, how to be more spiritual, how to stay connected with the world, and this answers lots of questions about meditation. So this has been quite uplifting for me as well. This is Beyond Within, again by Sri Chin Moy. So this is again a very heavy book on heavy topics like what happens after we die. He has been a spiritual master. So many people have asked him lots of questions. So this is the compilation of that book and it has helped me through tough times when I was asking myself different questions about what's the meaning of life? Why are we even here? You know, those deep questions. So this has been again very uplifting for me to be able to find my answers in here. So those are the books that have kept me going this year. Now I'm going to talk about podcasts. So I have started listening to podcasts end of last year and one of my friends she shared with me this podcast called the school of greatness by lewis house every week he brings these inspiring people they talk about their story their success and this has been extremely helpful for me the times when i felt i was lost so i highly encourage you to listen to that i also listened podcast by Oprah Winfrey, um, Mel Robbins, they're all very inspiring. That's about podcasts. So the TV shows that I've watched this year and that have inspired me, one of them is 3%. It's available on Netflix. The story of this series is about uh, when the world is divided into two, the upper class and the lower class, the struggles between them and how the lower class overcome that struggle. Finally, they unite and become one nation. This has incredibly inspired me and it just showed how your mental strength can help you get through the tough times. Every time I faced a tough situation, I just went back to the 3% uh, series mentality. I was thinking, you know, they went through these toughest times and this is nothing compared to that. So if they can get through that, I can get through this. So that's about series. I've also watched TED Talks and there are plenty of resources out there free 
that can help you and I highly encourage you to search topics like how to get through hard times and things like that on YouTube because they've got really good resources out there. Another thing that has helped me this year is my one-on-one -on -one coaching with Simone Heng. So she is a speaker and specialist in human connection. She's in Singapore but we had a Zoom chat and she shared me some strategies, some life goals that I can look forward to and it was really really helpful for me. So if you can go and find a coach or a therapist, a counselor, or maybe a friend who can help you get through the tough times. So those are pretty much the resources that I've used and not to mention my partner, he has been extremely supportive for me. Um, I was um, going through some confusion about my career choices and what should I do next year. Um, how to reinvent myself. So he has been very supportive in that case and definitely my family um, Who I live with at the moment. They have been extremely supportive through these tough times and we have been extremely lucky in WA to not have um, experience the lockdown because the cases here were very low and we're just lucky um, to be in Perth at the moment. So that's pretty much it and one last thing that I would like to mention is that yesterday I have done reflection of my 2020. I just feel it's really helpful to reflect on the past year before setting a goal for the next year 2021. So I wish you all a happy and healthy 2021. I really hope and pray that the COVID pandemic goes away. We all get vaccines. Lots of love from me. I see you in my next video.